Hello and welcome to the Pumpkin Patch Mum. This is a heartwarming and down-to-earth podcast where we dive into the vibrant, busy and sometimes messy life of me, a mum who also happens to be a passionate pumpkin farmer. We've got um, approximately an hour in the car together, so we thought that we would share some of our favourite or funny um, moments from Pumpkin Patch in years gone past. So Guy and I were just talking about one of the first memories we have of the pumpkin patches, which was, gosh, Guy, how many years ago? They're all good memories. All good memories, but one of the memories that we have was when uh, Guy's mother, my mother-in-law, used to run the Colchester pumpkin patch almost single-handedly on her own, Um, not even using a a check-in list or anything. She just literally used to turn up almost with a handbag and um, greet people as if they were her long lost friends and people used to love it so that's one memory I have Chris remember this for a long time any memories you can share oh I don't know um I thought I think my favorite thing about the patch is I think a lot of people don't actually realize it's a family-run business like a family farm a lot of other stuff goes on on there probably one of my funniest moments is um I'm gonna pause now just in case I have to uh, get taken out <laughs> But is uh, a couple of years ago when the people tried to steal all those pumpkins and hid their children on top and tried to get out of the wheelbarrow and so they hadn't got any. <laughs> and we uh, we managed to catch them, which is quite funny. Actually, that is one thing that is uh, funny might be the word, but lots of people do try and steal pumpkins. We've even had people try and steal pumpkins in the dark of night. And being the um, losers we are, we have CCTV on our pumpkins because we value them that much. And Guy has been known, with Chris as well, to go to the pumpkin field at gone midnight to uh, speak to some people in balaclavas trying to steal some pumpkins. Not us in balaclavas. Yes, yes, <laughs> not them us in balaclavas. <laughs> yeah, they weren't in balaclavas. They were the heroes. <laughs> and Mel, have you got any? So you've been with us for a few years now. What was it like when we started? Have you seen the growth or change or what? I've seen a huge growth, actually. It's been really nice to be part of this journey to see the growth and the expansion and the shift in it from a simple pumpkin patch where you, came to pick pink, where you come to pick pumpkins. Also, it's such a family event now. There's so much for the kids to do. I bring mine along and they really, really love it. They love playing on all the toys and choosing their favourite pumpkin and and pushing the wheelbarrows. They just have a lovely time there. I mean, we have had some really, as a team, we've had some really good, funny moments. I mean, Chris, I do remember when you... Do you remember the wet year? We were (laughs) pushing cars out. It was like, I don't know, probably how many cars we had to push out. But yeah, we had everything pushing out. My wife, she had her high heels on. She had to change her boots into. She had to come down the hill. I do remember that one photo of the four of us pushing a car out at the end. And then almost just collapsing afterwards. Best for being friends. (laughs) (laughs) Another thing during patch season is, I think, post-November, all of us never want to see a burger again as we end up eating rag marsh which is delicious but not every day for a month oh, well, oh, sorry <laughs> sorry we love pumpkin <laughs> actually this year we are doing pumpkin soup that is gonna be different and, and pumpkin lattes. and what yeah we've got loads going on oh i remember when we first started pumpkins the first ever year we decided to do it we opened at upminster which was totally random because we've never done it again since and the first day we were inundated with people that by the second day we had to shut and I spent six hours on a potato box turning people away with one bottle of water. <laughs> it was the first year we ever did it. It was so stressful. I literally had one bottle of water for six hours. <laughs> Do you that year, um, we had all the rain and then we didn't ticket it. We had all those, we literally filled the car park up, which was like 10 acres in about 15 minutes. Do you remember that year? Like, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, I do remember that, Chris. That was not a highlight of my life. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty stressful. So, Katie, you excited for this year? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My answer. <laughs> this is another first week. Yeah. 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 And so first year at the pumpkin year. batch. It's going to be good. It's going to be a good year. Yeah, no, she's not. We'll be good. <laughs> yeah, I've had the room. It is the beginning of September, and you would honestly be forgiven for thinking it is middle or end of October it's absolutely freezing today so it is making me feel really autumnal and actually excited about the upcoming pumpkin season um, especially because today's job is starting the grand setup of the pumpkin patch now as you can imagine if you've been with us before 
or if you're thinking of coming to us this year, this is not a five minute job. And so much, you know, love and attention goes into making these events the best that we possibly can. So one of my jobs today is just to, well, basically to start the setup. So I have got a team of people that help me. Um, so I'm looking, making sure the signs are going in the right places. Um, so we've got, you know, welcome signs where we need to welcome you in. Um, and also we have lots of, I'd call them almost like prop signs. So for example, we have things like an Instagram frame. We have scarecrows that you can be picture with. We have um, an arch. Lots and lots of different things like that. We've also got um, signs for the bar because we have a bar. Signs for the fox box where we sell refreshments. So as you can imagine, lots of lots of things. And every year it's slightly different. So it keeps us on our toes of like what we need and what we don't need and what's going where. And so yeah, so today it's very exciting. Yep. Yep. Where's the pet tonight?